Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. Yup, this is Donkey Kong Exit Music Redux Part 2. Um, sorry I haven't been uploading for uh, one week and three days or something, because I was feeling very sick, like my stomach didn't like me at all. So, yeah, I skip a few days, because I need to rest, of course. But I saw you guys w were very patient, so uh, I w I'm really glad. I'm really grateful, I mean. So, anyway, let's get to this right now, you know? You guys want this to be hyped, so let's just do it. Load game. I'm pulled from my sleep by the sound of birds and passing cars. I check my phone. 12.39. 40. Crap, I'm late. I walk out of bed and quickly put on my clothes. The the engine line of anxiety wakes me up completely. As I'm changing, I stop and take a moment to think clearly. If I'm this late already, I may as well not go. And another absence that's going to look fantastic on my school's standing. I sigh and sit down half the half dressed. I can probably still go to the literature club at least. Check out check on Atsuki, then Monica and Yuri know what's going on. It's now going to be a pleasant day. But first a much needed a shower is in order. Um I know I said like I play Doki Doki Exit Music the original, but I don't remember quite few tanks, so I will be surprised, maybe I will be surprised again, or maybe I'll remember, I don't know. Anyway, I step out of the bathroom, feeling fresh and clean. I check the time again. 13.6. How long was I in there? At least I feel less tense now. It just occurs to me, neither Natsuki nor Sayori have responded to me. I haven't heard a peep from either of them. My fears have crept their way back. Rooting themselves into the pit of my stomach like a vile tumor. I figured they may have taken Sayuri's phone or she's turning, turning off. That's not a huge deal right now. She's, she's in a safe place. But Natsuki. I'm tempted to call her let her know what's happened. What happened? Ask if she's okay. Oh yeah, she... Um, so it looks, looks like she got punched or something. You know, maybe uh, that punched her. Who knows? But the original side of my brain interrupts. What if she's in class? What if her phone is broken or something? She could be fine for all I know. Damn it. I almost wish I were omnip omnipotent so I won't have this painful crushing worry. By the way guys, just to let you know Every time I'm... Oh my god, this song is so loud. Sorry guys, I had to turn it on. Anyway, like I was saying, um, I think you guys noticed that every video I made with visual novel and stuff like that, I don't edit that much because I want you guys to pay attention to like, what is going on to the story, you know, to react with me. Because <laughs> I think it's like more fun to do. I don't know, but when it comes to other games, like example, like a scary game or like a, you know, other games that isn't visual novel, I'll, of course I'll edit more because sometimes there's a part that is very boring, so I have to edit and make it funnier. But in visual novel, when the I'm playing like a visual novel game, I'll just like relax, just talk to you guys and read this. I think it's not very necessary to edit this video that much. I mean, just a few of them for an intro or outro, but the rest, you know, can stay like that. So I just want to let you guys know, so you guys don't need to say like I'm lazy that I don't want to edit. I really do want to edit, but I don't, I don't see any point of editing the visual novel that much because it's just me reading this, you know. So yeah. Thank you guys for listening. Anyway, let's continue. I hold my uh, breath and check the time. Club sure have started by now. I follow the path along the court wait courtyard. <laughs> At least Sayur isn't he here to scold me for missing class. 
who am I kidding? Why not I take any amount of teasing to see her? Ali okay, phone. Stop, please. Thank you. At least he's in a safe place. I force my thoughts towards the club. Reaching the door, I let myself inside and I begin to navigate the hallways. After a short walk, I stop outside the door. I can't see Monica and Yuri inside. No, not Suki. My gut feels like it's been chopped onto solid cons concrete. My already present worry only gets worse. I take a moment to compose myself before walking in. As I enter, both Monica and Yuri turn to stare at me. Yuri quickly buries herself back into her book. Whatever plan I had to explain myself vanished the second I, ent I entered. I could only stand there awkwardly. Ooh, I can imagine MC's like, oh god, my puppy data bent mad at me. I cough and try to stammer out a, a greeting. Hi, Moni. Marco, can we talk? You're ducked. MC, you're ducked. Sees uncharacteristically em emotionless and dreary. This is a lot of fancy words over here. As opposed to her normal, cheerful demeanor. I mean, yeah, I suppose. You want to head out into the hall or... Somehow the prospect of being in a hallway where all those crew here is not ideal, but now I have to explain the fun of both Monica and Yuri. Great. Here is fine. Uh, Alright. Monica leans against the teacher's desk, her expression blank, yet somehow piercing my soul. This is going to suck. I take a breath. I take a brief breath. Brief. <laughs> it's brief, probably. I'll be straight. Something happened to me, Sayuri. I don't think I can tell you that I'll be up to her, but believe me, we didn't want to miss the festival. It was important to us. We wouldn't have skid unless it was important. So for what it's worth, I'm really sorry that we didn't make it. Well, that was surprisingly natural and more importantly honest. Still, I can't help but worry about her response. As soon as I finish, Monica's face softens her brow furrowing with concern is she okay yes and no she's safe but okay stretching it i see her eyes sift away for a moment staring into space she takes a deep breath take a deep breath okay needless to say i owe you an apology i was in a panic and should have kept bugging you about it. Things have been really stressful for me lately, especially because of the festival. So yeah. An awkward silence ensues. I have a feeling that the festival failure hit her harder than she's letting on. While it was necessary, I still feel awful for contributing to its failure. Monica rubs my herbal arm a bit and ga gives me a weary look. Are you okay? I pause. Through the last few words, I haven't had time to reflect on my mental state. Well, beyond the lens of anxiety and stress anyway, nobody's really asked me, so I've pushed that task aside for more important things. Not really, but it's nothing to worry about, she nods. If you insist, Yuri peers up over her book inquisitively. What about Natsuki? The man mention of Natsuki caught me by surprise. I can feel a wave of mild nausea floating of, over me. Where is she? Yeah, that was my next question. I haven't heard from her at all. She wasn't with you? No, she went home on Sunday after we baked the cupcakes. I haven't heard from her since. The room grows quiet. Yuri sits down, staring ahead blankly before aimlessly flipping through her book. Monkey closes her eyes and sighs. Okay, we'll have to... Something catches my eye. Outside the club room door, the flask of a familiar shade of pink. Was that... Am I just seeing things? Well, it's better that I find out rather than standing here 
contemplating it. Uh, I'll be right back. Oh, um, alright. Hmm. Monica didn't act as very tough as the original Doki 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 Exit music. Uh, sorry for the spoiler. Um, but yeah, she was ex you. I still remember the part where she was, I don't know, ye yelling at him, saying stuff that, oh, why did you be late? Like, what, what the hell, you know, stuff, stuff like that. Uh, yeah, I really, really recommend you guys play or watch all the YouTubers playing Doki Doki Gaze music. So you can catch this part with me. All right, let's continue. I make every attempt to walk to the door normally and resist the urge to sprint. This as the door closes, I break into a jog down the corridor. I run the corner and... Yep, yeah, Natsuki. Natsuki! Marco, keep your voice down. Please. She looks around like she's paranoid about being heard. Nat, you don't understand. I. She speaks in a harsh whisper. I know, Mark, I missed the festival and it's my fault and I know that, okay? I don't want them to come out here and start uh, going at me. <laughs> that sounds so sexist. And me and Natsuki. She stops her tangent. I've missed you. I've been really worried. We've all been. She looks at, me, looks at me with a reaction that I can only describe as completely shock. Y you... Mm, I've missed you too, okay? A lot. I'm sorry that I missed the festival. I really wanted to go. It's okay. Sayur and I weren't ex exactly punched to all either. She looks at me with confusion. You and Sayuri? Oh god, no, nothing like that. Is this a... Uh, I debate telling her. From what I know, Sayo considers her a best friend alongside myself and maybe Monica. She'd want Natsuki to know. At the same time, I don't feel uncomfortable with her. That's her decision to make, not mine. It's just like with Monica and Yuri. Something doesn't sit right with me about lying to Natsuki. But I'm not really lying, right? I'm just... An omission. An event occurred, Sayori couldn't make it and in the woods with her. Marco, that sounds bad. She okay? Yeah, she is, she'll be back soon. I feel terrible about not being up front, but I'm sure she'll understand if Sayori tells her. I quick read I blah, 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 can't speak. I quickly changed the subject to the topic most of my mind. Which brings me to my own question. What happened on Monday? Are you alright? Oh, Dad, it was this. We had a problem at home. Had to spend the day in the basement helping to fix something. I couldn't answer my phone. I'm sorry. You were spending something in the basement. What? What was your dad doing to you? Tell me right now, Natsuki. What? What was your dad doing to you? That sounds kind of sus. <sighs> the freaking sus jokes is getting old. I have to stop. Huh. Her explanation seemed plausible enough, but I can't shake a bad feeling about it. A really bad feeling. I don't believe it, not for a second. But if she's lying to me, of all people, she's doing it for a reason. I don't press it. Alright, fair enough. Natsuki exhales and rocks on her heels. So, that's why. Can't wait to get chewed out by Monica. She was worried about you when I told her. I hadn't seen you. You still talk to her. Yuri too. They're worried? She seems to react with genuine surprise. Despite your differences, Yuri does care about you. She looks uneasy, glancing towards the corner. She sighs and picks up, up her bag. Not today. I need some time to myself, you know. Plus, I need to be home early today. Need to start dinner. Oh, alright. I'll see you tomorrow though, okay? Promise? Natsuki pauses and looks away for a very short moment before glancing back at me. I promise. She gives me a weak but honest smile. Alright, get going. Don't let me hold you up. She waves and walks down the hallway. 
I start to head back to the club room. Before I round the corner, I look back. I see her at the stairwell glancing back at me. I, I hold up my hand. She does the same before heading town down the stairs. I said town. <laughs> Working town. <laughs> I sigh and head back to the club. As disappointed as I am that I didn't spend more time with her. She's safe. She's alive. At least there's... There you are. Where were you? Oh, uh, I was caught off guard from uh, wallowing in my own thoughts. Bathroom. Okay. Well, I was just about to say that we've ended up the club early today. Yuri's already headed home. I'll try and call Natsuki yet. Again, when I get home. Just in case the others show up tomorrow, I'd like you to, I'd like you two to write poems if you can. Maybe it could help you. Who knows? I hope this song is not copyrighted. Yeah, sure. I'll. Yeah. Very reassuring. I grab my bag, wave to Monica, and start on my way home. As I finish off the last scraps of my dinner, I feel my phone buzz from inside my pocket. Discarding the dirty plate in the dishwasher first, I put it out and check the notification. A text from Sayori. Several of them, in fact. Hey, Marco, I won't be able to call tonight because I'm going to sleep soon, but I wanted to message to let you know I'm doing better. You were right, the people here are talking really good care of me. They're giving me some meds. I was really scared at first, but I think they're gonna help. I'm sorry for doubting you when you said this would be the best thing for me. By the way, they said I could probably come home on Thursday, so that's good. I'll call you tomorrow if I can, after school and the club and stuff. Good night, Marco. Despite this good news, I feel the familiar cramping sting. She's being medicated now? I've heard stories online about taking stuff like that. What if she completely changes? What if she just attempts again? I'll fail her. I, I don't don't overthink stuff, Marco. Again. I run the sink and splash some water on my face. I can't bear the thought of her being alone, treating only with pills and encouraging words. I can. Oh my God! I can see the freaking picture. <laughs> I can only see her lifeless, dangling from that rope. Why is this happening to me? I've never felt this way before. Const wait, constantly on edge, overthinking and overreacting to news that I should be happy about. I wipe my hands, with the towel and send a message back to Sayuri. Glad to hear you're doing better. See you soon. See you soon. If I'm not uh, admitting myself first, I track myself upstairs and collapse on my bed. These past couple of days have let me completely drain. I can't bring myself to do much of anything other than worry and sleep. And like a soothing mother's sleep takes me. Wednesday. I've been recording for 18 minutes. Uh, maybe I can... Yeah, I'll continue. God, I'm in over my head here. Given how quickly my classes are moving, missing the two days of school hasn't taken toll on my studies. I have a lot of catching up to do. I can hardly focus on what the teacher is saying. It all seems to travel given what's happening with Sayuri. And that's okay. Perhaps I'm worried about nothing. Sayuri may very well be seriously improving. Maybe Natsuki is telling the truth. It comes as paranoid. Regardless, one thing's for certain, I'm slowly becoming a nervous wreck. Fantastic. My already drawing a link focus runs out completely. I love how I'm being so serious reading this. <laughs> and I even am paying attention sometimes to the recording. <laughs> All I can think about is a sense of fore foreboding doom the anxiety of the concerted future. The lesson from hell mercifully ends at the last bell rings. And just like that, I brought back to reality. I hastily ch chuck my materials into my bag. 
I'm the first one out of the door. Following the now familiar route to the club, I waved to the crowd of st students making their way to the staircase. As I came up to the final bend, I hear Monica conversing with someone. Slowing down my pace, I wait just by the corner to not interrupt. A stroke? That's awful, I'm sorry. Yeah, we were all pretty upset. Our whole family was there. She's doing much better now, though. What? That's completely different from what she told me yesterday. Between this and her ev evasive behavior, I have no idea what's going on. Why would she lie to me? Or Monica? Or both? Was, was something I did? Oh, hey, Marco. So he quickly waves at me and heads in inside the club room, back knowing me to follow. I guess. <sighs> oh my god, sorry guys. I didn't had enough sleep. I think uh, after this recording, I think I'm going to get more sleep. Uh, yeah, I think it's better for me. Anyway. As I enter, I hear Monica and Yurik are already engaged in a conversation about something. Sounds like they're talking about a book Yuri's been reading. We move past and head straight to the windows below our usual spot. Look at Monica smiling, you know, so cute. That's why she's best girl. Don't, don't fight me, please. I, Monica's best girl, okay? Don't fight me. Natsuki yanks open the closet door and starts fishing around for the perfect girl's collection. I hold back. A stroke. Really? I feel a little sick. She is hiding something that I'm... something that much is clear. But why? I have to approach the subject with her. That's a good tone. Box in the hand and the replies to it for the first volume. I quickly spot it and put it from the box. We then uh, slouch down and sit against the wall. Well, looks like we're finally through the first volume. It didn't only took us 45 minutes? Yeah, now only 11 more parts. I can hardly contain my excitement. Hey, that's you can lightly punches my arm in retaliation from my remark. Oh, come on. I like perfect girls, really. I know you do. You wouldn't have bothered sitting and reading through it with me if you didn't. I think I'd sit through pretty much everything if it was in Natsuki's com company. Anyway, I lean for an com company, right? Oh god, I just had a m massive brain damage right here. What the? F oh, okay. I think I said that right. <laughs> I lean for it and see if the box towards me. Running my finger along the volumes, I find the second and swap it out. I replace the window old one. Hey, hey, keep them in order. She scoffs before putting the first volume in order with the others. Sorry, don't worry about it. It just gets confusing otherwise. Good point. I'm sure she'd love the state of my DVD collection. Natsuki yanks the manga out of my hands and flips straight to the first page. So he holds out between us, like before. We are only a few paces in when my mind starts to wander. I need to stop putting it off. This is the perfect opportunity to ask her what's going on. Mark and Yuri are busy. They left the club room to go look for a hole puncher. It's nearly the end of the club day. We can always come back to the manga. And I really need to know if something's wrong. You sure it's a good idea, Marco? I mean, MC. Main character. <laughs> to hell with it. I'll ask her now. Natsuki. Yeah. I. I overheard you talking to Marika earlier. You mentioned that someone in your family had a stroke so you couldn't make it to the festival? I. Uh, you gotta expose Natsuki. Before you say, I don't care about the festival. I'm not mad at you. Is this. That's not what you told me, and there's something going on. Marco. Got it. Monica swings open the club room door, waving the whole punch around like a trophy. Yuli follows behind her, carrying a box full of lighted paper. She sits down 
Olha, she sits down on one of the desks. Nasuki sighs before whispering to me. Not here. The fountain outside. And bring perfectos with you. I know. Nasuki stands up, stretching for a moment. I follow, stuffing the second volume two of Perfect Girls back into the box. Marco turns her attention to me. Hey, Marco. Yeah, hey. Please, please, uh, don't hurt me, Monica. I, uh, I'll give you my soul. Okay, she's not demon what I'm doing. Monica asks me over as Natsuki heads straight out of the clubroom door. Monica's eyes follow her out as her expression changes to a familiar melancholy. Melancholy? Oh, melancholy. I don't know. Uh, I keep like saying words that makes no sense sometimes. Like, there's a few words I can't read in his. I don't know, it, it really triggers me, so yeah. I really hate that. <laughs> I really hate to spell it wrong, because I'm really trying my best to improve my uh, English skills, <laughs> uh, but I don't know if it's actually improving or not. But I think it's improving, I think it's like better than like four years ago, because I don't know if you guys saw it, but like I, like, mm, I made my mods in my main channel, into the like around 2019 it was terrible the grammar mistake was miserable <laughs> so uh yeah it was it was just a mess it, sometimes it wouldn't make sense the sentence of the story and uh, yeah so so that's why i prefer watching my newest mods because i think i improve a lot but anyway let's continue Already, we still had five minutes left her head drops down, now facing towards the floor. I can tell if it's out of con confused sentence or disappointment. She takes two deep, swift breaths, lifts her head back up and shrugs. Well, it's not the end of the world. Just wish she could have stayed longer. I needed to fill her in on the palm activity. Actually, you two are pretty close, right? Can you let her know that I'm trying to get the club back into the swing of writing poems? Yeah, I'll text her. Great, thank you. Also, I know you won't say what happened, but... How is Sayuri? I talked to her last night. She's doing much better. That's great to hear. This... Remind her we all care about her, okay? No worries, I will. Monica is genuinely nice in this mod. I'll be honest. She's genuinely nice. Then... They actually the original mod. No wonder why I heard some people saying that Monica isn't that rough in this mod. Makes sense now. Anyway, let's continue. No worries, I will. See, so smiles at me. Oh, don't worry, I'll let you go now. I grab the perfect girl's box before heading towards the curb room door. Monica sells after me on one last time. Just don't forget about the poems. I won't. See you tomorrow, Marco. See you tomorrow. Finally. I weave through the hallways, making my way to the double doors leading out into the crotch yard. I spot Natsuki straight away, sitting al alone on one of the benches in front of the fountain. I head over and take a seat next to her, sending the Magadol next to me. <laughs> Sorry. I feel so bad for laughing this. She's CG. Oh my god, sorry. I didn't expect this. Oh my god, they really made it CG for this. I mean, it doesn't look that bad, but it could be better. Sorry, I'm not. I'm, I'm not trying to be mean. Yeah, I know you. I know someone took a lot of effort to do this, so I really appreciate it. But it could, you know, put a kind of effort. To this but hey i'm not the one making this mod so i may shut up my mouth i need to shut my mouth i keep hearing i keep hearing noises in, in my house for some reason but anyway let's continue so natsuki doesn't respond she just stares ahead blankly natsuki no response would you 
read and I'll talk about it. She'll resist. I take the second volume of Perfect Girls out of the box. Riffing through the pages, I try to look for the page we left off on. Hey, what page were we, were we on? I remember something about a cafe scene. Everyone that's looking, my dare hurts me. Oh, who them? Almost every day. He asked for as long as I can remember. I missed the festival because he'd had a bad morning and threw a ball at me. He st stopped me from leaving the house, made me clean the basement when I cried. I wanted to go, I really did. It's funny, really. I did want to perform my poem after all. It, prob it probably won't have been fun, but yeah. Now you know. I... Oh... I'm just... They're, they're hugging. Yeah. I think this is going to be my thumbnail. <laughs> I think that's going to be next to my thumbnail. Without even thinking, I put her close into a warm embrace. She flinches slightly at first, but then... Recipe Procades grab, grabbing me firmly. I feel her jerk back a little. He knows where to hit, so it doesn't show. Hugs, hugs hurt a lot. My mind is flooded with the thousand screaming voices. Rage, Janice, shock. She's been abused this whole time, and I'm just. Stood by, now once thinking about it, her palms, her absence, her self, her self insulation, all of them signs that I've ignored. I feel my chest tightened and my lungs started to burn. The familiar sting of anxiety, Natsuki. You can't stay there. You, you can't. She looks into my eyes, tears beginning to form. What am I supposed to do, Marco? Hud He decides where I go and when. No one will believe me. I have nowhere to go. And even if I did, I the leave breaks. The leave breaks. She pulls herself into me, tears standing in my shirt. Between sobs, she's very able to choke out a sentence. Marco, I I can't live like this anymore, but I don't know what I can do. I... I have an ex extra room. You'll be safe. This probably won't be a permanent solution, but I'll get you away for long enough for us to do something about it. Him. You just need to... You just need a way out. Natsuki wipes her tears from her eyes and shakes her head. I can't do that to you. He will never let me go. He'll never let me go. Then don't tell him. Marco, what are you talking about? I mean, I could get you out of there. Or at least I could try. Give me, I don't know, a day. I come up with something. Some way. There has to be a way. Marco, I'm serious, Natsuki. Just sit silent for a moment. Natsuki pulls away from me, wiping her tear from her cheek and sniffling. You can't get involved, Marco. I soon have even... Please, we'll figure it out. I can't let you stay there, Natsuki. You don't... You don't get it. This will only make things worse. Think about the long term, Marco. Is this something you really want to do? I know... I know that you want to help, but... Natsuki, the only thing we should be concerned about now is your safety. Because it's not going to get better if... Well, if you stay. We both know that what he's doing is no okay, so I'm trying to put a stop to it now. Please, work with me here. I already told you I have a sperm room for as long as you'll need it. We just need to get you and your stuff out of this as soon as we can. Please. She takes a deep breath. 
Damn it, Marco. Why do you have to make this so hard? I don't know, okay? I just don't know. As he stares at the ground silently, I can only assume she is mulling the options over in her head. Taking deep breath, she makes up her mind. As if you want to come in, she rises from the bench I follow. You're right. I know it's not okay. Would you really want me over? We not a doubt. As long as we as long as it can keep you safe. We just need to figure out how to well get you out of there first. Does she even need to go home? I mean I could just walk you to my house now. That'll be it won't work. He's expecting me home forty five minutes ago. I feel the pit in my stomach a tiny neck knock of unease and what happens if she's late i don't want her to get the hurt and i need my stuff clothes medication you know it can't be today tomorrow then we can't waste time waste time marco your freaking sentence is not working here you have to get your stuff packed and ready to go I'll have time to figure out how the hell we're even gonna. This is so messed up. My heart's going about a mile in a minute. But I need to keep it together and figure something out for her. Yeah, I can't. Hearing that one of my friends had to go through. I choke up a little. Marco, are you okay? You're getting a little... No, no, I'm fine. We just have to figure this out. I think... I think I know what the buzz of our mobile phones startles us, us both. We fall dead silent. Now she slowly pulls her phone out of her pocket and puts a figure in the front of her mouth, mimicking a sh shush. She starts to wander away from the bench to avoid the gushing noise of the fountain. We debated brief. She answers. For a second, I thought I heard something again. Seconds go by, followed by minutes. Each one feels like an hour. Several steps behind, I can still make out her father's shouts over the line. Natsuki visibly flinches a couple of times, yaking the phone away from her ear as she does. Before long, it's over, and Natsuki turns to me, defeated. I... Natsuki sighs. I've gotta go home now. I'll walk with you. I I don't know if that's a good idea. Well, I do need to find out how to get to your house. And I want to be there for you. Seek gulps. Okay. We should go then. Nodding, I could collect the perfect girl's collection before we rush out of the school gates. Oh my god, this is getting tense. This is completely different than the original one, actually. Oh my god. Of course it's different. This is a redox one, Marco. Oh my god, you're so stupid. Uh, yeah. I really, really, really wish I could continue playing this mod right now, but I have to go to, sl to sleep again, because I think I didn't have enough sleep. But yeah, I'm so... Yeah, I'm going to end this recording right now. Thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, make sure to subscribe, or you also to free on subscribe. If you if you don't like the content, unsubscribe. If you like the content, subscribe. But yeah, if you also like this video, just, you know, like the video. You know, uh, I wish there was like a dislike thing, but you know, YouTube uh, removed the dislike count, so you can't see if people disliked it, and that's pretty terrible. And I don't like that. I want YouTube to bring back these likes again. I, I don't know. I, I, I will keep bragging. I will keep bragging. I will keep begging YouTube to bring the dislike count so I can see if my fans really like the video or not. I can see the ratio. I mean, I can see the ratio of like and dislike on my YouTube studio, but it doesn't show to people on, you know, online. So people doesn't know if they see if this video is actually good or not but anyway uh yeah that's about it 
thank you guys for watching this video and see you in the next one